Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair. From the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and return on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So in this video, we have my middle child, Kehlani, here, where we are styling her hair into a three different looks. Summer is coming to a close, and it is time for us to get back into our routine. We definitely slacked off late around, played video games, and slept in this summer okay so i picked up these new products called all about curls they're by zudos i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly i picked it up at my local sally beauty i went in there just kind of browsing and i just this one caught my eye and i decided to give it a try i've used it a couple of times on kaylani's curls and i must say i love it i've been using the bounce curl cream and it's this nice thick custard that like clumps her curls together brings out the definition but it's also a soft definition so you don't have like that hard crunchy feeling that you would get using like regular hair gel so i love the whole the definition and the volume that it gives so it right now i'm just sculpting out her curls now usually i use that board bristle brush pump up her curls with that brush and then go in and spiral it around my finger but this time i just wanted to just see her natural curls and turns out that Lonnie's curls are a lot tighter than I assumed them to be so what I'm doing is pretty much just smoothing that board bristle brush through so it's pretty much distributing that product from root to end and I'm just kind of like playing around with it to kind of like bounce it and bring those curls out and do not touch them after that that is it a little bit of water do not have the hair soaking wet we don't want the dry time to take two hours so just some damp light mist of the spray bottle make sure you have a nice good amount of the bounce cream in there then take the bore bristle brush to smooth everything out make sure the hair is nice and detangled and then just take your hands and shake those curls out and that's pretty much it Now, Kehlani has beautiful thick hair, but her hair can lack in the volume department, which is so weird because my oldest daughter, she does not lack volume whatsoever. So for the top part of her curls, since I do want her to have that volume, I brush those curls going upward, like straight up to the ceiling. Don't brush those going down like you do the ones in the back. Those are fine if you brush those down, but for those curls, it's gonna sit at the top of the head. Make sure to pull that brush up in the air to give that root a a nice lift she has a lot of cowlicks around the crown of her head and this is going to help make sure that volume in those curls once everything is dry it doesn't look flat we don't want flat hair so for the front I want to do a couple of like individual braids a couple of plaits and or whatnot in the front um, I didn't want everything to be completely out because then it gets in her face and she gets totally annoyed by that so I'm just going to do four simple braids in the front and then decorate it with some hair accessories Now here she is with her hair all done. Curls have been sculpted. We are going to allow her hair to air dry. And once her hair is air dry, this is what it's looking like. As you can see, those 
that fullness is amazing her curls are still nice and defined i am going in with a little bit of hair grow oil this is the black seed baby grow and glow oil this is going to moisturize those curls as well as add this nice beautiful shine to her hair makes it look so healthy and glamorous add some cute butterfly clips for added accessory because we are girly girls over here we love hair accessories and this is a completed look i love this style definitely gives a y2k vibes now on to style number two here she is again freshly washed and nice and detangled and we're gonna go in with our very first product again the all about curls bouncy cream love this cream i cannot speak highly about how much i love this cream so it works great as far as sculpting and clumping her curls together to give her that nice definition as well as keeping the volume okay i cannot speak highly of how much i love this product but it is not a great detangler i will say that now of course i have tried it out as a detangler and realized it just won't there it won't give in it was not given what it was supposed to but that's okay lesson learned and i learned so you don't have to make the same mistakes I do. So I went in with a simple zigzag part going down the middle because we're creating two up ponytails. Now for this style, I wanted to do the messy bun look. Y'all know back in middle school, we loved us some messy buns, okay? Y'all remember the fan buns that we used to do where we would fan our little broke off damaged ponytail into a fan? Why did we do that? I don't... I don't know why why we thought that was the cutest thing but every girl in middle school had to have a fan ponytail okay that was the look and all that hair was absolutely damaged we working with healthy hair now so i allowed kaylani's hair to air dry so it's a little damp here for her messy bun i'm trying to create a little bit of frizz but not too much and to create her messy bun because she has so much hair what i do is tie it right now now don't get scared here don't yes i am tying her hair into knots but they're not completely like tight where I can't undo it just like enough to just kind of keep it closed at the root of that ponytail and then I'm gonna go in with a rubber band to secure it so it doesn't come loose and that's pretty much it I'm gonna show you again on the other side I did add a few bobby pins in certain places just to make sure that the ponytail or the messy bun wouldn't unravel. Added some cute butterfly clips because you can't have Y2K without butterfly clips. Now, I don't know what it was about that Y2K era, but we were not afraid of colors at all. Okay, you know, now we got all this minimalist and neutral styles going on. No, back in the early 2000s, honey, we wanted to taste the rainbow. So I added in some snap clips of a variety color and she is complete. This style lasted her two days. Now on to style number three, last but not least. Here she is again. Now she is not freshly washed here. She is definitely dry and in need of some moisture. So I am missing her hair down with some water. So you remember earlier in the video when I said that the bouncy cream is definitely a cream to die for, but it is not a detangling cream. Well, this is where I learned that lesson. So I did not detangle Kalani's hair before applying the cream. I thought that if I did the cream first and then detangle, it would be no issues. It gave me a hell of a lot of issues. So that's why I say do not use it as a detangler. If you need to detangle the hair before the cream, that is your best bet, okay? So I'm going in with some more water just to dampen up the curls a little bit more because they were not clumping the way I wanted to and again I was fighting with that cream trying to detangle her hair so I definitely had to be careful because I didn't want to cause any damage so again smoothing that product through and I'm doing a half up half down style this time but for the half up part I want to put it in a guess what another messy bun So 
So using that same technique that I used in the first style with the four braids, I'm taking the boar bristle brush to smooth those curls out and then just kind of play around with it to give me, you know, the definition that I'm looking for. Now, as you can see here, her roots were just looking a little unclumpable and I ain't like that because that means when it dries, it's going to look hella frizzy. So I went back in with a little bit more cream, a little bit more water and then smoothed it through the second time and it was given exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what you want to see when we say clump the curls because once it dries, those curls kind of unravel from themselves and then create all this beautiful volume. Of course, those curls are at the top of the, of the head. Make sure to pull those upward to create lift and volume and leave them be. Allow them to air dry after that. Now it's time to style that top half of our half up, half down, going in with the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. Love this damn gel, okay? You will never hear me talk bad about this gel. Love the smell, love the hold, love the shine. It gives everything you need for them edges to be laid, slayed to the gods. So I'm going in with a ponytail holder to secure down her ponytail and then we're going to create that messy bun. Again, taking that same technique that we did in the second style. Now, unfortunately, in this style, I was a bit in a hurry. We had places to go. So I had to pull out my new Shark Blow Dryer. This was actually my first time using it. I love this damn thing. It's so quiet and so efficient. Oh my goodness. I had to go back and purchase the diffuser attachment because I didn't realize that the diffuser attachment didn't come with it. But I'm just kind of blowing down her hair to kind of get it a little bit more damp. I don't want to create the messy bun with soaking wet hair because it doesn't give the messy that it needs to so I'm tying that first knot in the front doing another knot in the back and then I'm gonna secure it with a rubber band and this time instead of using the butterfly clips I decided to give them a little break I went in with these cute adorable watermelon clips that I purchased off of Amazon as well and that is it for this style simple cute effective and adorable okay thank you guys for joining us on another hair tutorial here on our channel do not forget to check out our other tutorials for a back to school hairstyle school is it's time to get back to school yes indeed we appreciate having y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe